Thursday, hundreds of thousands of Americans will attend events associated with the National Day of Prayer. But the observance at the White House will be decidedly low-key. White House correspondent Mike Emanuel reports that is a big change from recent past. On this day, Americans come together to thank our Creator for our nation's many blessings. For eight years, President Bush invited religious leaders of many denominations to the White House to recognize the National Day of Prayer. The designation of the day is a tradition dating back to 1952, but under Mr. Bush it became a public event, putting religious leaders front and center. White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs says President Obama will mark the day with a proclamation on paper. That's the way the president uh, will publicly observe uh, National Prayer Day, but uh, as I said, uh, uh, privately, uh, he'll pray as he does every day. Shortly after taking office, President Obama did participate in the National Prayer Breakfast attended by members of Congress, business leaders, and every president since Eisenhower. On the campaign trail, Mr. Obama spoke about his faith and the desire to practice it privately. When I go to church, it's not for spectacle. It's to pray. Those who argue for separation of church and state say National Day of Prayer events belong in houses of worship. Frankly, there's plenty of space in churches. We don't need to use government buildings to do them as well. But some evangelical leaders say the separation of church and state argument is not valid. To interpret the First Amendment today is a brand new interpretation to make it a secularization rather than just a free exercise of religion, which is what it guarantees. The National Day of Prayer Committee says it is disappointed in the lack of participation by the Obama administration. And some suggest President Obama in a public event could send an important message. There's an opportunity for uh, for the president and for Congress to, to while the cameras are on, to say that, uh, you know, we are a nation that believes in prayer. Meanwhile, President Obama's search for a spiritual home in Washington continues after the first family attended St. John's Episcopal Church for Easter services. At the White House, Mike Emanuel, Fox News.